Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and the Google Play Store is coming to Chromebooks, and I have it on my Chromebook Flip right now. It's in one of the developer builds. I'll show you how you can activate that if you have a Chromebook Flip, but right now, it's a little buggy. There are some problems. However, you can now install apps from the Google Play Store on your Chromebooks, and this is pretty much a game changer for tablets and just Chrome OS in general. So let's get started and check out the Google Play Store on Chromebooks. All right, as you can see, I have the full Google Play Store on my Chromebook right now. And to get it, all you really have to do is go ahead and jump into settings on your Chromebook Flip at the moment, and then go to About Chrome OS, go to More Info right here, and hit Change Channel. And you'll see I'm under Developer, which is unstable. You're going to get some bugs. You're going to run into some problems, which is why I'm showing it off a little bit early. I will do a revisited review on this Chromebook once it becomes stable and comes out in the official build. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna to go to all apps and right here is pretty much all apps I've installed from the Play Store. Now, some of you asked to try some out. Here's Snapchat real quick. So for Snapchat, I'm gonna go ahead and press enter to take a picture since there's no button and it works pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and post that to my story. Go ahead and follow me if you haven't already, just QBKing77. I'm going to go ahead and post it there. You can check it out if you want to. You can swipe, swipe down, swipe to the left. It works pretty well in terms of functionality and running through it. It's pretty smooth. However, you'll see I'm horizontal um, and developers will need to take account for this now and make their apps more functional for Chrome OS. Now, some of you were also asking about gaming and here is Asphalt 8 right here and gameplay hasn't been bad for as much as I've played it in terms of frame rates dropping or stuttering or lag, it actually plays this game pretty well. It plays it better in this windowed mode. Graphics get kind of, um, I guess, worse in terms of if I go out of the windowed mode. And for some reason, sometimes when I go out of this mode, it'll go into full screen, but it reboots the entire game. So you'll see that's just a bit of an issue. It just did it right there. So to switch, you have to switch right away and choose what mode you want to actually be in. Facebook was working just fine. Facebook Messenger was working fine. Some of you asked me about that. And chat heads were working as well. So you'll see you can open it up, you can reply, and it's full Facebook Messenger through chat heads on the Chrome OS. Now in the Play Store, you'll see some apps say your device isn't compatible. Again, developers will need to update that. So WhatsApp isn't working. In terms of I can't get another keyboard to install, I have Google Keyboard installed actually, but I have no way to activate it as my go-to keyboard. If I go ahead and go to My Apps and Games, and you'll see this is very similar to what it looks like on your phone. And this is just literally the Google Play Store. Instead of on your phone, it's on your Chrome OS. And right here you have your notifications. You'll see I've installed all of these specific apps. The Google Cast app did not work. You can't cast your screen just yet. Obviously you can probably do that through Google Chrome though. Now moving along, let's go ahead and check out Microsoft Word. I've tried this once before and yes, it works just fine as expected. You go to blank document, testing, there you go. So again, this is all from the Play Store, and now I want to try Maps. I actually haven't tried Maps yet. I'd just be kind of interested to see if it actually was working. Let's go ahead and move around so you don't know where I'm living. There we go, Antarctica. So that works just fine, and of course you can go to specific websites for apps such as Instagram, Twitter, but you can also install apps now for those. You see I have the Twitter app, so in case some of you do actually like specific apps or even YouTube, YouTube works okay, however, let me give you an example. If I go into a video and load it up, I can't really skip through the video. For some reason, it's not letting me scroll through the tracking, but you'll see that it loads up the video just fine, but I cannot skip through the video. I don't know actually why that's not working. It's pretty smooth though in terms of the standard YouTube layout and running through videos, but once again, kind of a deal breaker that you can't skip through any videos. But again, there you go. This would be the Google Play Store on the Chrome OS. Pretty exciting that it's coming. Like I said, developers need to do some work. Even the Google team needs to do some work. It's not completely stable yet, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for it to come to more and more uh, Chromebook devices. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that thumbs up. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Snapchat. All links in the description of the video below. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.